Okay, part three of the video, like I said, I woke up in the recovery room. Couldn't find out they've been waiting on me for a couple hours to wake up. Um, obviously, that was some good sleep for me because I've been running for about, I ain't had a good night's sleep in about a month prior to my surgery. And that was one of the things that I actually was looking forward to. I knew I was having surgery, but I was like, well, shoot, at least I'm taking, you know, a month off from work. I'm paid. It ain't a vacation because you know you're going to be hurting and stuff, but it's paid um, leave. I was I qualified for short-term disability, um, but it's not at 100%. It's at 75%. So people who are considering getting a surgery, um, check with your human resource department, your benefits, whoever your benefits is through. Um, my company who I work for, we have Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Blue Cross Blue Shield, which is a great insurance, by the way. I wish I would have had a smaller deductible, but that's neither here nor there. Um, uh, they left me. In, I stayed in the recovery room after I woke up, maybe like an hour. And then they, I, I heard, I heard um, as I was dozing in and out that they were looking for me a room. So they finally found me a room, rolled me in my room. Uh, thank God that the, the bed that I was in in the recovery room was the bed that I was going to be in for the next several days. Um, got to my room. I don't even remember rolling down the hall, y'all. It, 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 that was one hell of a drug. <laughs> but, um, got to my room. I'm hurting. Um, I see um, my family members come in. Um, my best friend Kelly. Uh, Officer Kelly, she was there. Um, she come in, uh, walking fast like she about to get somebody that damn parking ticket. Uh, I'll introduce y'all to Officer Kelly uh, later. Um, she's a character of her own, but I love her. Um, and my aunt Emma Jean and my aunt Baby. These are my dad's sisters and my aunt Emma Jean friend. Uh, I think her name was Rochelle, uh, and then I think later on my friend's mom came also. But anyway, I was pretty much out of it, and I was grunting like the way I was grunting and moaning was like what I see on TV. Because like I said, I don't have kids, so it was the stuff that I saw on TV when women are in labor. I was hurting. I was ready to, um, I needed some pain medications, but the nurse that was in there with me, she couldn't give me any pain medication yet because I wasn't fully in her system, which I didn't understand. Like, what kind of shit is that? Like, I'm, let me calm down because I'm already on blood pressure medicine. But anyway, maybe, and I kept asking her for, um, water. She said she couldn't give me the water. Doctor's orders was I had to wait till six o'clock. And I said, Well, what time is it? She gonna say two, I think two something. I said, Oh, I just <laughs> I just felt like I uh, uh, I couldn't make it. So, you know, the hustler in me, matter of fact, I'm thirsty now. You gonna drink a little sip, like seriously, or water, or anything. The hustler in me was trying to figure out. I said, "Well, can I get some ice?" She said, "You can't get ice until six o'clock." I said, "Well, can I get some medicine?" She said, "Baby, I'm waiting on them to put it in my system." So by this time, my aunt baby came up to me and she was like, "I, I think they was about to leave." Um, which I was confused because I just got in my room and I'm looking like, oh, y'all leaving already, you know? But I don't know how long they had been there because I was knocked out. But um, she was like, just pray about it. She said, don't sit up there and moan and groan. Let it out. Just pray about it. So I didn't pray about it. I just wanted two things. Give me some water 
and give me some damn medicine. So eventually the medicine, she finally got it in her system. She gave me some medicine. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Mm. It was so good. And I mean, she gave it to me in my IV in this hand. And I promise you, soon, I, let me tell you something. It was like a, a map. It was just like, soon as she put injected that, that shit just like came. And it just like went to my brain. And then it came down and went to my stomach. Oh, Lord. It's just, I just, I just melted. Like, I just melted. I just melted. It just felt so, I just wanted to go back to sleep. You know, that shit was good. Like, it, it really works. And see, the reason why I'm like so hyped about it is because I don't take medicine. I'm not big on that. Like, it take a lot. I got to really, people who know me know it take a lot for me to, to, to uh, go to a doctor and take medicine. Because I just don't, I don't like it. Like, I don't like that power over me. Like, somebody, I, I just, I just don't like it. But at that point in time, I was like, do what you got to do. I, I, I'm, you can do it. So, got the medicine. Um, my aunts and them left. Um, but Kelly was still there. I thought she was just going to be there for that day. Um, the doctor came in maybe around 4. And I know it had to be 4 something because um, I asked him, can I get some water? He was like, yeah, yeah, sure, you can. And um, I said, could you let them know, can I get some ice? And so, he let them know. And I looked up at the clock. And it was like 4, 4 something. It was, I know it was before 4.30. And I was like, thank you. God, because I still would have had two more hours. So I, all I wanted, y'all, was some ice. My mouth was just so dry. And I was just so weak. Ugh. Got the ice. I had a big old hospital cup. You know them hospital cups that y'all get, that your, your grandma and your granddaddy get. Um, and one of the people that brought it in, they said, do you want a spoon? I said, nope. Look, they said, you want a spoon? I said, uh-uh. <laughs> and I just put that thing in my mouth. I was like a fucking savage. I was like, uh uh. And I just put it in my mouth. Y'all, it was just heaven. Oh my God. Mm. But fast forward the story. Um, I think they tried to bring me. No, 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 no. They didn't bring me dinner. No, yes, they did. I think they brought me dinner that 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 night, that evening, around six something. Um, and all it was was uh, cause I was on a clear liquid diet. It was crystal light. No, no, no. I'm taking that back. They didn't bring me no dinner. All I had was ice, and I was hungry. Even after surgery, I knew I was hungry. I, like I did. You know when you're hungry because you had those hungry pains. So the next day, which was Friday, May the 9th, um, they brought me breakfast. And breakfast was around 8.30, between 8.30 and 9 o'clock. And um, I didn't really feel much better, but I knew I was hungry and I knew I didn't eat anything. So they brought me crystal light. They brought me like a, a small thing of crystal light, maybe like a, a 8 ounce of crystal light. Eight ounce of unsweetened tea. Eight ounce of lime jello. Eight ounce of chicken broth. I tried. I took one spoon of the chicken broth. Couldn't do it. I just it was nasty. I couldn't do it. I tried to do the um because I remember what they told me that you gotta stop you gotta chew your stuff. So I tried to do the jello. I did maybe a spoon and a half of jello. Couldn't do it. And wasn't nothing wrong with the jello, I just couldn't. So I, I took my spoon and dipped the crystal light and tried to sip it out of the spoon. I maybe had two spoons of the crystal light. Couldn't do it. But what I did, but what I could do was that damn ice. So once again, I got that cup 
grab that ice, put that ice in my mouth, and I just laid there and just sucked on the ice. Like, that was basically how, other than the IV, that's basically how I hydrated myself. Like, I would just let it melt and drink it. But after a while, that shit was not cool. So I called to the, um, the cafeteria and they said that I could, I said, what, what, what are my options by me being on this clear liquid diet? So they said, well, if you didn't want the broth, if you didn't want the chicken broth, the vegetable broth, or the beef broth, then you can get popsicles. And I was like, okay. So I said, well, let me substitute the broth with the popsicle. So I got an orange popsicle and a grape popsicle and crystal light and the unsweetened tea. I gave this unsweetened tea to my friend Kelly and I basically took about four to six spoons, teaspoons, and drank it for the crystal light. Basically y'all, you can only drink like really this much. You, and your stomach really can only hold this much. And this might be too big. This actually might be a little too big. This much. But I couldn't even consume it. Like 24 hours later, I, could, I really couldn't consume anything. It was just too... It was too... And then my throat... Like whenever I try to like do the ice and stuff, like it'll... Kind of, it felt like in my chest. It, like in between your breasts. The chest right here. It felt like it wasn't stuck, but it just felt like it was like squeezing to go down there. And I forgot to mention that they actually put a tube down your throat when you're um under to help you breathe. And so um and they gave me um medicine, nauseation medicine. And speaking of medicine, let me um let y'all know about the medicines. I did not realize how much medicines that I was gonna have to take. I know when I was doing my consultations and stuff they said that I would have to take like a, a vitamin, multivitamin pill but I did not know I was gonna be taking all this and I just got my all my medicines today. My cousin came by before he left to go to Columbia and um got my medicines but you got all these freaking medicines. First off the number one thing that you need to do is protein. You need to do protein and so I had got these protein shakes um, by Atkins, and as you can see, they I think they want you to consume anywhere between 100 grams of protein to, no, 80 grams to 100 grams of protein per day. This has 15 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, 160 calories, right? Well, as far as the sugar thing go, they only want you to do things, anything less than five grams of sugar. Okay, I, I actually, I'm not going to be doing those shakes because that means I would need to consume like five to six just to get the um the 80, you know. So I, what I'm going to do is actually um go out or have somebody go out and get me some what is it, whey protein powder? Because I need something that has more protein. Even though this has 15 protein things, I need more. Because if, if, I, if I need to, if the minimum is like 60, if the minimum is 60, then that means I need to consume four of these, four of these 15 gram powder um, drinks, protein shakes, just to meet the minimum. Let me tell you something. This I'm 24 hours out of the hospital. I only had two of these today. I can only get through two of these today. So, ain't no way I can do four. Or at least right now, I, I can't do four. Let alone six. So, what? basically what I need to do, I need to find something that has more than 15. Like, maybe like 25 grams of protein. And if I get 25, then I can drink two, four, six. That's 75. I can drink like three of these and I'll be good because if they said after so if you don't get protein then my thick hair is going to fall out and I ain't trying to be bald headed my teeth are going to come out and I ain't trying to wear no damn dentures you feel me 
But anyway, back to the medicines. This is an over-the-counter drug. I got this from um, CVS. This is calcium citrate. Uh, you need to take two of these per day. And these are some big pills also. That's another thing too. Like, it's hard to swallow shit. And you got to take these big old pills. These some big pills, y'all. They are. And you got to take two of them things per day. You got chewable vitamins, like the Flintstone vitamins. Um, they kind of big. They kind of big also, but you can chew them. That's two sets of medicines. You got the B12. They want you to do a thousand per day, two five hundreds per day. So I actually had to split this one up. Which is kind of hard because it's pills so little. But I think you sit this this one under your tongue and it dissolves. Ugh. It's a small pill. I'm trying to get it like that. Like, like a baby daddy. Like it don't want to do what it, it's supposed to do. It's a little red pill. This one is easier to swallow. That's actually a tablet that you put on your tongue and it dissolves. Um, they gave me some pills for nauseation, but I really haven't been, been throwing up since the day after recovery. And this is small, so I really haven't had to take these. That's four. And they gave me some pain medicine. I really don't, I'm not really in that much pain other than my right side. And the right side, it looked like they did liposuction on my right side on one of the wounds. On one of the wounds, cause my stomach kind of sunk, sunk in on that side, and couldn't find out. After doing some research, I found out that that's actually the side that they remove the part of the stomach that they take. And then I, and then um, my blood pressure prior to me going to my primary doctor and stuff, my blood pressure always been elevated. But by me being in there, they've been monitoring my blood pressure, and they determined that I need blood pressure medicines. So they also put me on blood pressure medicine. Um, so that's. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I I was already on the cholesterol pill, so seven. So I'm on seven medications, and two of the pills. I take a day so seven so that's nine pills a day I did not know I was signing up for that I honestly thought it would have been nine pills a day and all this damn protein shakes I did not know I was gonna have to do all of this I, I, I really didn't but the results are efficient it's some it's real um like I said uh, the day of my surgery, uh, I think I went, well, the day before my surgery, rather, because I wasn't able to weigh myself the day of my surgery. But the Wednesday before my surgery, I was 457. When I came home Monday, no, when I came home Sunday, which was yesterday, I weighed myself and I was 447. So basically, I lost 10 pounds in four days. And then today, Monday, I weighed myself this morning when I got up, and I was 444.6. So I lost, um, in 24 hours since I had been home, I lost 2.8 pounds. So altogether, with my weight loss journey from 2012 up until today, tonight, well, earlier today, August 2012 to, um, May 2014, I lost 64 pounds, 64.8 pounds, but with the surgery, I lost 44 pounds on my own, and with this surgery, the whole process of the surgery, I lost um, 20.8 pounds, so, which totals out to 64, and I want to lose like 300 pounds, so I got a good ways to go.
but I'm not just going to rely on these medications and only being able to consume certain sips and stuff because if you think about it you're not going to be able to eat food you're really going to be drinking the majority of your life your day is going to be consuming these protein shakes because unless you want to be walking around here looking like your brother with a with a fade which I'm not trying to do I'm going to be drinking these, these protein shakes and I'm going to start going to a gym because I know I'm going to uh, lose weight and I'm a big girl, you know, my arms, whatever. I don't want all that flabby skin. So as I'm in the process of um, losing the weight, I want to tighten up my skin. Um, uh, what else? Oh, let me tell you about my room. My room, when they wheeled me in my room, my room was nice. Um, if you want to see, I post pictures. My room was nice. Like, it was like a suite at a hotel. And I was on the ninth floor. And it was just decked out. Like, not decked out, but it was just nice. Like, the view was nice. It was just beautiful. Um, they kept that. Let me tell you something. You don't get no rest in there. Like they kept coming in there, in there like every every two two hours, two three hours. Like they kept every eight hours. They was giving me a shot in my stomach. Um, they said that's to prevent blood clots in your stomach. Then they put these like little look like flotation device. What little kids have on their arm when they get in the pool. They put them on your legs and it's automatic. It like pumps, like squeeze your legs, and that's the you know, prevent blood clots in your legs. And then every time they come in, they ask you what type of pain you in. You don't describe your pain with words like, oh, it's bad. It's okay. I'm all right. You describe your pain with numbers. It's from one being the lowest to 10 being the highest. And um, I don't really think it even matters um, because they're going to give you your pain medicine regardless. But they, they did ask me, did I want like a half a dose or a whole dose? Like I said, I'm not real big on taking pain medication, so I was trying to eat. I was like, "Give me a half of those." Give me, but man, the times when when they got, I said, "Give me the full thing," and I promise you, as soon as she give me the full, I'd be like, "Just I talk to y'all tomorrow," you know. Um, but overall, it was horrible. <laughs> It was like, I, I, yo, I, you, it was just bad, like, oh my god, it hurt so bad, um, but here I am, what, four days later, don't get it twisted, like, I'm still kind of hurting, but it ain't no way near, no way near how I felt 24 hours after, or 48 hours after, like that, and I actually was supposed to stay in the hospital only for two days, I was supposed to get out that Saturday, but I, he, he let me stay an extra day because um, he still wanted to monitor me because, remember, I'm two hours away from the facility, the hospital. So I came home yesterday. Um, my right side of my stomach, I'm going to show pictures if you want to see it. My right side of my stomach, the part where it looked like I had a liposuction where they actually removed the, part, the portion of the stomach, um, that's the only part that really hurts like right now. Like, the other parts are, are tender, but the part that really hurts where I can't even, like, sit up straight or stand up straight is this right side. But, um, but yeah, I just, 